did destroy fatally her friend's life. So it's not the use of drugs gratuitously. Unfortunately, the film has been slapped with an R rating in spite of the fact that there is a minimal amount of sex or violence in the film. If that is the case, then no film can be made that's an anti-drug film without getting an R. Therefore, no one under 17 is going to see the film. You get the connection? I like your style. Brown has been showing the film in different cities to family groups and says that parents overwhelmingly support changing the R rating. I will not accept an R rating. Uh, there is an old African proverb, it's not what you call me, it's what I answer to. This is not an R film. And if, if, if it goes out as an R film, parents are going to associate it with gratuitous sex and gratuitous violence because that's what the R rating now means. Parents don't see it as an advisory. They see it as a moral warning. I can definitely see places where I've lost control. Until the MPAA has completed its internal reviews and heard the appeals, it won't say why it gave White Girl an R rating. But the organization says children can still see the movie as long as an adult is along to explain the content.